Recently, you were on the show. Who are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to be a here. We've been asking you guys to submit questions to your favorite players on Twitter with Vine videos using the hashtag 888FanCast. Well, three of those videos will be featured on today's show. Did your Vine make it? You guys will have to stay tuned to find out. All right, without further ado, let's get right into all the fun by welcoming our first guest, Sabine Lisicki, to the show. Welcome. Hello. Come on over. Oh, my gosh. So... Major congratulations in Thank order. <laughs> Doubles title at the Sony Open yesterday with Martina Hingis. How are you feeling right now? Pretty awesome, right? Pretty good. It was very exciting. Um, playing as a wildcard team mm-hmm. in our only second tournament together. And we actually saved seven match points in the quarterfinal. And then winning the tournament is pretty good. <laughs> Did you have any time to celebrate? Because what's crazy no. is you have this big win yesterday. And now you're already here in Charleston. Yeah, because I went straight to the airport and mm-hmm. arrived here late last night. So um, I have to get ready for the family circle cup <laughs> on the plane. No. Absolutely. Well, you have a good good win to give you extra motivation yes, here. You know, speaking of Martina Hingis, what do you think it is that works so well with you guys? Because you're phenomenal on the court together. Yeah, it's um, we know each other so long mm-hmm. uh, for over ten years, so I think that helps a lot. And um, she's obviously an amazing player, still <laughs> is. Um, so it's so much fun to play with her. Absolutely. And in Charleston, you won your first title here in two thousand and nine. So how's it feel to be back? Amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Always very special to come back. It's um, the place where I won my first title. Um, it was a big one. Had some big wins. And the crowd felt so special here, and um, you know, it was just so much fun. It always feels special to walk out on that center court. Mm-hmm. And with these big wins, do you have any special like pre-match rituals that you have to do before the match, knowing that here? it could lead to a win anywhere? Um, any, any little rituals you like to do? No. No? The usual stuff. You're not superstitious? No. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, um, I have to ask you, because this is really cute. You have a Yorkie. Yes, I do. And it's, it's named Happy. Yes. How did you decide on the name Happy? Well, so many dogs are called Lucky. I didn't True. want to call Lucky and have five my dogs around dog, me. My first dog was actually named Lucky. That's yes. a good point. Okay. Um, so I wanted a positive uh, name. So I said, okay, why not Happy? Aw, and, and what I think is really cool is it's kind of a trend now with all the players bringing their dogs on tour. Yes. You were like the first girl that started that trend. And Happy was like the first dog to get... The very first credential, <laughs> which is true. awesome. In US Open, yes. <laughs> <laughs> did, did he have to go through like the whole picture taking process? Yes, he did. Did he really? Yes. Do you still have it? That's um, like a My dad though. has it, yeah. I think my dad kept it. <laughs> That's really cute. So, how is he on tour? Does he like, is he competitive with the other dogs on tour or is he cool? He's competitive if you throw a tennis ball somewhere. Really? He'll sprint and get it. <laughs> then he, he shows people what's up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. And is he with you on every tour or just some of them? No, some. Some of them. Okay, very cool. Well, we have some fan questions. Lots of people have been submitting questions okay. via Facebook and Google Plus and Twitter. So reach in there and grab one. If you want to read it out loud and let us know who it's from. Very exciting. From Ed One Zoya on yeah, Twitter. Sounds good. Do you think Germany will win the World Cup? Of course. Yes. <laughs> That's what they're going there for. <laughs> totally. Okay, let's get another one. from Harvey on Facebook. What is your standard routine an hour before the match? Um, an hour before the match, it's um, usually you know, being with the team, talking mm-hmm. through the match and about the tactics and then um, you know, just warming up, mm-hmm. listening to some music and getting ready, mentally ready. How nervous are you before a match? Like in that getting, hour, getting ready hour process? It really depends on the situation. Really? Sometimes I'm nervous in the early stages of a tournament, sometimes mm-hmm. not at all so Mm -hmm. it really depends it just comes if you are really nervous how do you handle those nerves to not let it affect the way you play really music give us a scoop what are some of your favorite favorite songs to really pump you up it depends it depends on my mood if i need to (laughs) need to calm down it's different type of music it's usually what's on the radio now okay what 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 is the one song that like will always get you pumped up like a really high energy like workout motivation playlist song um, oh, there are quite a few. Um, I have to think about that Okay, one. <laughs> all right, well, let me think about it. Let's grab one more question, and then we're actually going to make you play some mini golf. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be really exciting. I okay. don't think so. <laughs> From Ed S. Luziki Pride on Twitter, what's your best childhood memory? Oh, that's very sweet. Tennis or non-tennis? 
anything. Best memory. Best memory. Or one of the best, I should say, because there's obviously been a lot. Well, for me, um, there are quite a few. It's hard to pick a single one. Mm -hmm. um, I think meeting uh, Martina, actually. Wow. Yeah. What, what, how old were you when you first met her? Ten. That's pretty amazing. I was, what was watching her on, on TV and it was always my dream to, to be able to play on the biggest stage um, of tennis. And I really felt lucky that I was able to not only meet her, but get an autograph on my record back back then. Yeah. And imagine you're 10 and then yes. you flash forward all these years and you guys are winning doubles titles know, so together. That's um, amazing. It's one of the <laughs> good childhood memories. So Absolutely. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, so pop those back in there. Thank you so much for all your fan questions, guys. Keep them coming. Okay, so we know you're awesome at tennis. <laughs> but not so good at golf. So go on over to the X over there. We've got four golf balls for you, and uh, we'll, see, we'll see how far you can get. Basically, this first tier is one point, the second tier is two, and the last really far away, if you want to really go for it, yeah, is right. three. Yeah, four tries. <laughs> <laughs> and I wish I knew how to come on golf but unfortunately i'll just be a I support just over make here one. Oh, that was so close so close i just want to make a single one <laughs> all <laughs> right i won't make it <laughs> i know you've got a whole team of sport let's let's give a little round of applause back here Woo -woo -woo. Oh. <laughs> That one just did not want to go in. It was so They close. don't want to go in. <laughs> one final try. Can she do it? Yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> that was amazing. At you least see what that is. is. But I better stick with tennis. <laughs> I'm not surprised you got that in because when you're under pressure, you know that's, how to put away the yes, point. So that's true. It's perfect. <laughs> right, thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations on everything and good thank luck you. at this tournament thank you and very beyond. Much. All right, guys. We'll be back with lots more fun here on WTA Live after the break. Everything you need to know about the WTA is just a click and a click away. Click, 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 click. That's just how easy it is. It's that fast. Before you can watch us, you've got to know where to find us. Now we've made it easy and interactive. Just click and then click again. Go to WTAtennis.com and click the TV button. Once on the page, click the country you want to watch us from. And bam, bam, bam. It's all right there. Where to find us, when to find us. So remember, click, click, right at your fingertips at WTAtennis.com. Welcome back to WTA Live. I'm your host, Kristen Aldrich, here with Jeannie Bouchard. Nice to see you. Thank you for having me. Of course. So how does it feel to be back in Charleston? I know you were here last year. Yeah, last year was my first year, so it's nice mm -hmm. to be back. And, you know, I have some good memories from last year. I made my first premier quarterfinal, so um, it's nice to come back. I think I play well on these courts, and I've been practicing well, so I'm looking forward to playing. And how about the city itself? Everyone keeps talking about the amazing restaurants here. Do you mm -hmm. get any chance to kind of explore the city while you're here? Or are you too busy rocking on the tennis courts? <laughs> well, we don't have that much time, but mm -hmm. I did go into the city last year, and we went to a few restaurants. Um, so far this year, I haven't had time. We went to the player party last night, so that was really interesting. Um, it's definitely kind of an artsy type of mm -hmm. uh, kind of for foodie, those type of people. You know, there's all these different <laughs> food stations, and it's pretty interesting. <laughs> but um, it was cool. And definitely this week, I think tonight we're going to go into the town and, and mm -hmm. see uh, what Charleston has to offer. Nice. Well, we know uh, you have just absolutely catapulted through the rankings, and the last two years have really been a whirlwind for you. What has all that been like? It's been crazy, you know. It's kind of like this, this crazy journey I'm on, and I'm just trying to enjoy and appreciate every moment because I know, and people tell me, I'll blink and it'll be over. So <laughs> I'm, I'm really trying to just enjoy it and, you know, of course, work as hard as I can to, to become the best I can be. And I feel like, you know, it's just a step of the way. I don't want to, you know, end where I am now. I definitely want to get better. Oh, of course. I mean, you think of where you've been. Australian Open semifinals, exciting beach tennis in Acapulco. <laughs> you've got some good memories. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, I love what I do, and I'm, I feel so lucky. I can call it my job and mm -hmm. um but 
Definitely tough as well, you know, uh, pressure and working hard on the court and trying to get better and, you know, the tough competition out there. Every girl is, is really good at this level, so it's really uh, it's really about staying mentally strong on the court. But, um, you know, all the other things off court as well are, are really enjoyable, and I've just been having fun. And, you know, I was actually going to ask you, like, tennis is so much of a mental game, especially mm -hmm. when you're at the level that you are. How do you kind of take away all of the media attention and all of the press and, like, have that separate so when you get on the court, you are in the zone? How do you do that? Well, definitely since I think is uh, when it's become a lot more important for me to, to focus on, you know, it's it's nice to have these off-court things and um, do a lot of media. And for me, I actually enjoy it. To me, it's fun. Mm -hmm. um, but I know the first priority is the tennis because if there's no performance, then no one will want to talk to you. So. <laughs> oh, we, will, we will still want to talk to you. And you know what? Speaking of, I know you have a huge army of fans, the Genie Army. How many do you think are watching right now? I hope maybe I like two. <laughs> I want to say to all of them, like, tweet at us, use the hashtag WTA Live. And I say, like, let's try to keep trending, right? Of course. I mean, <laughs> Genie Army was trending on their own in Australia. So <laughs> totally. not even, it wasn't even about me. It was about the Genie Army. So like I said, I told them, I said they're famous on their own. They can start their own reality show. They can do whatever they want. <laughs> they don't idea. need me That's anymore. <laughs> I know. I'd want to see what they do in their off time. Like, what are you guys doing right now? Tell me what you're doing right now. I have a right feeling now. they're watching you. Most <laughs> um, what do you think is, what's the best thing a fan has ever done for you? I know they've given you, given you so many stuffed animals which is awesome yeah well they have started this trend which has continued and it's it's amazing that fans around the world know what my other fans do and have kind of created this this thing and even in Mexico and California I'm, mm -hmm. I'm receiving these stuffed animals everywhere so I'm getting quite a collection and it's really tough on my baggage and it's really <laughs> almost annoying no I'm kidding I love it you but, bring them all with you every tournament well when I'm on a trip, I go to four or five tournaments at a time, so I just keep collecting them, and That's then I have amazing. to like get a whole other suitcase. But I'm going to do something really cool with them one day, once I've collected a few more, hopefully if I get a few more. Um, <laughs> That's the plan. But, I mean, fans are just amazing. You know, I appreciate everything they do, and to me, it's uh, the, the, the most special thing I ever remember from fans is just when they say, oh, like, I started playing tennis because of you, or, oh, my wow. daughter, you know, she loves playing tennis now because of you, and she looks up to you. To me, that's, that's the greatest honor. Mm -hmm. And for future Genie Army fans... What are your preferences for stuffed animals? <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything that annoys you or what do you love most, I should say? <laughs> I welcome everything, everything you guys think of because Aww. you guys are my fans. So whatever you think of is what I appreciate. <laughs> but I did say I did a Google Plus hangout in Indian Wells and I said my favorite animal. I never received it, but I did receive it after, after asking for it. I asked for, I asked for a monkey and then in my next match I got a monkey. So Aww. I love that you guys listen. You guys are so special. Very I'm going to tear up. <laughs> now, actually speaking of tearing up, you had a amazing amazing interview uh, a while ago where you were asked who your kind of celebrity crush was. <laughs> that was very controversial, yes. So, yes, yeah, so I want to just kind of get your thoughts on how you're feeling about Justin Bieber lately. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny because after I said Justin Bieber, he then got like a DUI in Miami and oh, no. went to court in Toronto. Did he actually ever reach out to you? He did. Well, he tweeted me good luck before oh, my semifinals. Awesome. How did you not know that? <laughs> <laughs> the whole world knew that. I, I was just baiting you so you could say it. <laughs> no, but since then, he has gone into a lot of trouble. And, you know, I just yeah. really, I respect him because he became, he was born in such a small city and he became a superstar from nothing, you know, and he really has a lot of talent and, and became like the most popular teenager on the planet. And, um, you know, he's kind of going through a crazy time right now, but mm -hmm. um, I, I will mature and he will come back better than ever. But, um, yeah, I think he, he just needs to mature a little bit. But, you know, when he does, I'm over here. Nice. We got the Bieber <laughs> fever happening right over just here. Just a little bit. <laughs> Perfect. Well, we have some fan questions for you from the, from the Genie Army. Uh, so you can go ahead and pick one from there. And if you okay. want to read it out loud. All right. Tell us who it's from. From Ozzy Sharapova on Twitter. What was your favorite thing about Australia? I have a lot of favorite things about Australia. <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, what I like most about Australia is I've been, I think, six times now. So mm -hmm. I've been there a lot. Wow. And to me, it's just the people are so friendly and it's just such a relaxed vibe and uh, on the tournament side as well. And the fans really get into it. And I've felt that from when I played juniors there when I was 14. Um, just the whole atmosphere. Everyone's just very relaxed over there. And it's, it's a very nice week, a few weeks when you're over there. Great place to be. I agree. All right. Good questions. Yeah. From Team Bouchard on Twitter. Okay, I know you guys. <laughs> What do your friends and family think of the Genie Army? <laughs> <laughs>
Well, they were the original Genie Army before I really oh, had yes. a Genie good, Army. Good to know. Never forget where you came from. <laughs> exactly. <Thanks to> them. <laughs> exactly. What do they think? Uh, I mean, I think they think it's super cool. And, mm -hmm. um, it is super you know, cool. they kind of tell me when I don't, you know, see everything or hear everything. They say, oh, like this fan did this. Or, oh, did you know Genie Army people? They did like an interview back home in Montreal. And I was like, no. And so they, they actually kind of keep me up to date with some of the Genie Army stuff, which is cool. And, mm -hmm. and they, um, you know, they just want us to get bigger just like I do. We'll put it here for that. Yes. <laughs> exactly. This right, pot's a little, <laughs> little small. All right, one more there. Okay. I'm dropping all my papers. From, I don't know how to say this. Ooh, Jerry Venencia 13. On Twitter. Do you read your mentions on Twitter? Ooh. Very good question. How many, how many mentions do you think you get a day? I don't, I mean, Thousands? I don't know. Well, it depends. I mean, you know, when I was playing in Australia, I mean, I wasn't looking at on social media at all because it was just completely crazy. So, sure. you know, when I play matches and, and big moments like that, it's really important for me to stay focused. But, you know, when, I, when I'm when i in an off week, when I'm training and I put, like, a question or, like, you know, a, a stupid thing on Twitter, mm -hmm. then I'll read some answers and maybe retweet one or two or, <laughs> um, you know, uh, answer them. So I think it's... Uh, I think I do, once in a while, yeah, mm -hmm. once in a while. So I, I see your tweets. All right, so yes, Jeannie Army, keep tweeting because she does <laughs> read them. Okay, so we've been having this really great thing called All Access Hour Fan Cast, and fans have been submitting Vine videos via Twitter. So we have our very first winner right now. It is Tennis Love 2502 and they have a question for you. So we're going to play it right now. Check this out. Hey, Jeannie, what's your favorite childhood memory from Canada? Hey Jeannie, what's your favorite childhood memory from Canada? All right, so very sweet. So what is your favorite <laughs> childhood memory from Canada? I'm sure there were many, but of course, one of, one of, of the course. Tops. Well, I'd have to say probably when I first started playing tennis, I was five years old, and okay. um, it was outdoors, so it was in the summer, but we don't play outdoors that much in Canada, obviously. We play <laughs> indoors like seven I'm, months I'm a year. I'm from Minnesota, so we're, exactly. we understand you, that. You understand what I'm going through. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm, I remember being, um, yeah, I think I was four and a half or five years old when I hit one of the first times at a park right near my house, and it was just, I loved hitting the ball, and it's just mm. something I just wanted to, I wanted to play every day, and, and that's how I kind of started, so that's, I mean, that has to be one of my most important memories, because that's wow. why. I'm standing right here. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. That's very cool. That's where it all started. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so I'm sure you've seen this little putt putt course over here behind you. So we're gonna actually have you play some mini golf. <laughs> I saw it, but I didn't. I tried to not think about it in case I had to do something. I have a feeling that's what people are saying. So go ahead and step on that X okay. over there. Okay. I'll um, give you these. Oh, thank you. All right. And so we're basically gonna give you four tries to hit the golf ball into one of the many. So I can aim it to here. that one? You can, but the thing is, if, if you get in that one, you only get one point. Uh, the middle tier is two points, and the far away tier is three points. And basically, it's just bragging rights against your fellow teammates and players. So and I put this here? Four tries. You got it. How good of a golfer are you? I guess we'll see. We'll find out. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, those ones are, like, kind of distracting me, though. Like, I need to focus here. Okay. <laughs> I think I should start with a small one to start. Good idea. All right. <laughs> this is going to be might, so might, pathetic. Might get a little bit closer. I need to at least, I mean, I can't set my standards too high. I mean, you're telling me to aim over there. <laughs> this is not happening. How many times have you golfed, I should ask? Or even mini golf? I, I did it actually in California um, after Indian Wells, but... Okay. I mean, I lost to my 14-year-old brother, so... Uh, <laughs> Good to know. Oh, oh. inching close. <sighs> Come on, that has to count. <laughs> and just so you know, Sabine Lasicki got it on the fourth try, got one point. No she cheating allowed. <laughs> that counts as point five. <laughs> okay, I'll go for a far, I'll go for a far one just one. for fun. Let's see this. Oh, she's oh, going Jesus. big. Oh. All right. I, I appreciate the effort. Close. <laughs> All right, one more shot. <laughs> okay, back to the baby one. I wish. She gets ah, it. That definitely that's counts. Yes. Nice work. So it is tied one to one. Sabine I got one point. I'm Jeannie. proud. <laughs> Coming over things. That was fun. I, I love how everyone gets it in like on the last one. I feel like because you guys are so good with that mental toughness. <laughs> you're just like enough of this. I'm last gonna chance. Get we this have one to in. do it. Yeah. <laughs> so if you could do me a favor, I'll take this one. If you yep. want to autograph this tennis ball yep. for our tennis love 2502 and we're going to send it out to him. Is that that's the person? Yeah. He won a ball? With your autograph on it. How That's did he win the ball? Because he was our Vine video. Oh. 
Well, thank you for asking a Vine video. Of course. <laughs> nice. Well, thank you so much. Good luck in this tournament and thank beyond. You. Congrats on all your success. Thank you. And we'll be back with more WTA Live after the break. Congratulations Singapore on becoming the new host for the WTA Championships in 2014. Congratulations Singapore on being the next host of the WTA Championships. Congratulations Singapore on becoming the next host of the WTA Championships starting in 2014. I can't wait to play in front of the great fans and I know that Singapore will take it to the next level of success. I'm so excited. I'll see you in 2014. Welcome back to WTA Live. We are here in Charleston, South Carolina, and I'm here with birthday girl Sam Stozer. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you very much. So it was your 30th yesterday. Yes. How, that's like a milestone birthday. How did it feel to turn the big 3-0? Oh, it was fine. I'm not feeling sad or sorry for myself <laughs> or anything just yet, and the first day's been that's pretty funny. good. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, it was, it's nice. It's uh, I guess if you can't be home, it's nice to be in Charleston. I've had a few birthdays in Charleston yeah, that's in, right, my, in my lifetime. So, uh, yeah, it was nice to have another one. Do you have any traditions since, since you are here so much for your birthday? Any restaurants you like to go to or places to hit? Um, um, I actually went to the same one last night as I think I had my 27th there. Okay. But my favorite restaurant wasn't open last night, so we're going tonight. Ah, uh, what can I ask what your favorite restaurant is? Uh, fig. Okay. Yep. Now, now you know there's going to be fans <laughs> lined up the door, but that's one thing that is so awesome about Charleston, though, is so many people just keep talking about the food. So yep. what do you think, um, you know, really sets it apart from all the rest? Because I know you're a big foodie. Yeah, I, lo I love food. I love eating and going to good places. And I actually think Fig's probably one of my favorite places around the world. I obviously, mm -hmm. we get to eat in lots of different countries and lots of different restaurants. Yeah. Um, yeah, Fig's definitely up there as a big favorite. Nice. So for your birthday, any big presents that we should <laughs> maybe mention? Anything worth? <laughs> um, actually, one present. My physio is a diehard um, Carlton AFL supporter. Okay. And she gave me one of their scarves. So um, I think she's dying for nice. me to wear it somewhere. <laughs> and I think she's trying to turn me into supporting Carlton. <laughs> Love it. Love it. All right. So in honor of your birthday, um, we have a few questions because I have a feeling fans might want to know like how to party Sam Stozer style. So well, it's hard to party when you're in a middle of almost about to start a tournament. So it's pretty, know, right? pretty low key, to be honest. So let's imagine you don't have a tournament coming up and you can just like <laughs> go wild with whatever you want. So these are going to be like really rapid fire. So say the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. All right. So what would you wear? Oh, uh, probably jeans and a t-shirt. <laughs> What would you drink? Um, my favorite cocktail is a Cockney Collins. Oh, really? What's, mm. what's in a Cockney Collins? Gin, cello, sage leaves, bit of sugar, lemon juice, I think. Mm, sounds delicious. All right, so what would you eat? Ooh. Um, Big I'd go, to, I'd go to Fig or a good Japanese restaurant. Okay. And how many guests would you have? Who would be there? Oh, many. Who knows? Many. As many as want to come. The more the merrier. Yeah. Awesome. How many uh, actually best birthday gift that someone could Ooh. give you at this party? Jeez. I don't know. Uh, probably something small because I'd be on the road and I wouldn't have to you know, cart anything big <laughs> around. What about the worst birthday gift? Ooh. Um, something large. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And uh, favorite birthday of all time? Um... Oh, let's go with this one. This one? Oh, ah, yeah. that, that means a lot. <laughs> I'm going to assume it's because of WTA Live. Of course. Let's just say that. Okay, and what's your scary age? Uh, I haven't <laughs> had any real freak out moments. A sure. lot of people tell me they freaked out at 30 and then maybe huh. 40. So I've got 10 years until that one happens. So. And, and men might not understand this, but for women, like 30 is a big deal. I remember I shouldn't give away my age, but I, I did turn 30. <laughs> 
once upon a time. And it's kind of an interesting age, but I've heard 40 is the new 30, so we've got a lot to look forward to. You know, I'm, I'm feeling good at the moment, so <laughs> my first day has been good, good to me. All right, awesome. Well, let's talk a little bit of tennis. Of course, you've had great success in singles and doubles here in Charleston, so what is it that makes this tournament so special to you? Um, I don't know. I've just always had a great time. I think if you love, you like the city that you're in, that probably helps, helps. you play a little bit better mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. I think the tournament's you know, excellent. It's definitely one of my favorite tournaments. I think the fans come out and support it really well. And you know, even if you're on the third court, it's a full stand. So it's um, <laughs> great atmosphere and good kettle corn on site. Nice. So um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just like being here can't beat that we like it when you're here too okay so let's talk some fan questions here if you want to grab one and then read it out loud tell us who's from from at sam stosa info on twitter i want sam stosa to know that she's the reason why i love tennis and ask her if she's learning spanish um (laughs) i'm not learning spanish but i probably should i do i really would love to be able to speak spanish but do you know um, any words in spanish Hola. Hola. I was just going to say adios, maybe. That's just, that's just my, the only one I use. Chaliente. Yeah. I know that one. <laughs> Terrible. Okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. Jenny Tapchuri on Facebook. Mm-hmm. What is your favorite tournament outside of the Grand Slams? Uh, this is actually definitely up there with one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. And there's, I mean, there's probably a handful that I could pick from, but... Um, yeah, Charleston's definitely one of them. Nice. Okay, one more. From at Moz Tao on Twitter, thanks for coming to Tokyo and playing in Japan every year. What is your favorite Japanese food? Yes, you actually said one of your Japanese restaurants could be a good birthday. So. Yes. Um, she really love Okonomiyaki. Okay. So. I have no idea what that <laughs> is. but It's like Japanese <laughs> pancake. It's like oh, interesting. pancake with cabbage and you can have pork or seafood okay. and they put barbecue sauce and mayonnaise all over it and sounds amazing it's pretty good i should actually ask you that's a good question are you pretty adventurous with your food yeah I've got, the, I've got, as craziest, i've got older i've got more adventurous it's the craziest thing you've ever eaten oh uh, see i don't do like crazy crazy no, but um, like cockroaches nah, or, no no <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not into that but okay. yeah you know, you're at a restaurant i'll i'll give it a go you will okay yeah. so like octopus squid yeah 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 caviar, that's you'll you'll be yeah, fine with that yeah that's all good escargot yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd, probably, I'd try it but it probably wouldn't be the first thing i'd order okay all right awesome so you can pop that back in here okay so behind you we know you're awesome at tennis but let's see how your mini golf skills are today. Yeah, i'm not so awesome at golf <laughs> So you have uh, four golf balls there, and you have four chances basically to get it in the hole. And this is one point, the first one. Yep. Second tier is two points, and third tier oh, okay. is three points. All right. Jeannie Bouchard got 1.5. Well, how does that work? <laughs> I asked myself the same thing. No, she, she got, it was like stuck on the side, but we counted it. Man, that is pathetic. That's a pretty straight, straight putt, though. I like the ASICs gear, by the way. Thank you. Oh. Ooh. See, I've got to go big on this last one, otherwise. Go big or go home. Absolutely. No. Nah. Close. Oh. <laughs> Not really a golfer. Well, you get you get an A for effort. Thank you for trying. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on the show. It's always so awesome to see you. Thank you. And congrats on everything and good luck at this tourney and happy birthday. Thank you. Very cool. All right, guys. So we'll be back with more fun and more mini golf uh, right here on WTA Live. <laughs> When I was a child in Copenhagen, in Moscow, Belgrade, Wuhan, in Belgium, Milan, Berlin, Czech Republic, Israel, Saint Etienne, Germany, 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 South Africa, Africa in Romania, Vancouver, in Germany. All I wanted to be was the best in the world. girls made of? They're made of sugar and spice and sweat and fury and grit and strength. That's what little girls are made of. Welcome back to WTA Live. I'm your host.
Aldrich here with Sarah Arani. Hello. Nice to see you. So we haven't seen you here since 2008. Yes, that's right. How's it feel to be back? Good. It's a very good day today. So it's gorgeous. Nice. Yes. And what do you think, uh, what's one of your favorite things about this tournament and what are you looking forward to mo most other than winning, obviously? Well, to have fun, <laughs> first of all, and uh, nothing. Try my best on court and uh, mm -hmm. try to practice and play good. Uh, you know, we actually have kind of a birthday theme going on on today's yes. show. It's a lot of birthdays. I know you have a birthday coming up, end of April. Yes. So, what do you think? Do you have any plans in action? No, what are you not yet. Do? Not yet. I don't know. I don't know. What do we you usually see. like to do on birthdays? Well, it depends. Sometimes I was on the flight. Sometimes mm -hmm. I was home. Sometimes <laughs> tournaments. So uh, you never, you cannot plan it. Of so course. Uh, yeah, just to, to find what you, what you see. Is it is it hard to celebrate birthdays on the road? Depends. If uh, you are with the uh, good people, it's, it's good. Of sometimes course. Uh, you would like to be home, but uh, cannot be always, so sometimes. If someone could give you, this is for all the fans, to give them some ideas, actually. <laughs> yeah. If someone could give you the most amazing birthday gift ever, what would it be and why? Well, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know like this. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Actually, maybe, maybe a puzzle. A what? Uh, you know what you do? Puzzle? Oh, a puzzle! Yes, I love I them. I like puzzles. But it's impossible for me to make them. Of course, you are changing <laughs> hotel, true. you you'd, cannot... You'd have, to, you'd have to disassemble the puzzle to yes. put it in your suitcase, and then you'd have to do yes. it over at every location. <laughs> that would not be cool. Okay, so we have a, we have a fun little game for you um, that's kind of birthday-themed. Um, yeah. So fans, again, take note. We're going to find out what would kind of make the perfect birthday party for you. So let's pretend you're not on tour, you're in just an amazing <laughs> location. What would you wear? to this party mm, just uh, easy thing uh, like this how you yes, say com some comfy com casual yes yes absolutely yes. okay what would you drink uh, sprite sprite yes. you're a sprite girl okay <laughs> love it what would you eat uh, pasta good pasta. Pa but good pasta. yes good of course pasta. italian yes. pasta <laughs> what, what's your favorite pasta well, my mother make uh, tortellini alla panna. It's uh -huh. very good. Mm, but it's difficult. It. She make them, so it's not uh, you can buy. She make it at home. It's long time. Wow. So it's, That's amazing. How long does it take work. to make? Well, maybe she take two or three hours to make them. And after mm. you cook it, to cook is, is nothing in right. one minute. But to make them, it's long. Two hours to make? Five minutes to eat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So, so what do you think? What's a dream location for your birthday party? Maldive. Yeah. Oh yes, my gosh, yes, that would be so yes, beautiful. Yes. How many times have you uh, been? I've been there two times. Two times. Yes, and was so nice. Perfect. I love them. Okay, and how many guests would you have at this gorgeous location? No, not too much. Just, not too much. Uh, no, no. I love. I like uh, to be just with uh, the near friends. Maybe mm -hmm. I don't know. Ten. Ten. Okay, that's a good intimate number. Yeah, yes. I like it. Okay, and. If someone were to give you a birthday gift, you kind of already answered it, but what would be the best birthday gift ever? The dream birthday gift? A puzzle, I already tell you. I, I take that one. I take that one. A puzzle, one. yes. What's the biggest puzzle you've ever put together? Have you actually finished yeah, a at few? Home, yes, at home I was, uh, I don't remember, eight... Uh, 8,000. Wow. Yes. That's pretty phenomenal. Yeah, it was big. I'm, I'm not surprised. The, the mental them it on, takes. On Christmas. <laughs> on Christmas, I stay home some days okay, so that I can do them. Perfect. Okay, so if that's the best, let's <laughs> give us a scoop No, I don't, the, I don't, don't the have an idea. They What's can make a surprise. It's a better surprise? to have a surprise. Would there be, would there be a, a bad birthday gift to give you or is everything good? Like the worst what? present someone could give you? Yeah, what? And what is that? Do you know? Do you have ah, any, anything you don't like? I don't know. Sushi. Sushi? Really? <laughs> okay, so no sushi. No Stick sushi. to Italian. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. And what would you say is your favorite birthday of all time? My, the best one? Yeah, best birthday you've ever had. I really don't know. You don't know? No. I always say, because um, as, as you get older, it's always hard for women to be celebrating <laughs> birthdays, but I always say it's another year that we're here and another year for you to be such a great role model and cause so much inspiration. So every day should be a good birthday. <laughs> yes. I love it. Okay, it's so we've got some fan questions. We've got time for two, so reach in there. And if you want to tell us who it's from. From Paul Lierli on Twitter, if you could play against any retired player, who would you choose? nice question yes it's nice uh, it can be girl or man it can be anyone anyone well I would say Agassi 
I guess it. Yeah. I was. Uh, Why would you I say love. Him? Yeah, when I started to to play tennis, it was my idol. So it was. I guess it. Very cool. All right, so let's Another grab one. one more. By the way, would you beat Agassi? No. <laughs> impossible. <laughs> Even one point, impossible. <laughs> From Cheyenne on Twitter, are you watching any TV series lately? Ah, any, any television shows that you're a fan of? Uh, well, I was watching a lot uh, an Italian one, Squadra Antimafia. Okay. It was very nice, so now I don't know when it will start again. So, okay. Any, uh, any American TV shows that you've gotten into like while you're on the road? Um, I saw Lost. Oh, lost! A lot of people were big. Uh, yes. were big fans of that. Yes, but not too much. Not, and um, I'm not watching. Too busy too winning on the tennis courts. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Okay, so pop that back in there. Thank you for answering those. So we're gonna play a little mini golf. Yes. So walk on over there. You're gonna have four tries. Yes. To try to get a golf ball in. Um, basically, this Which first one? one. It can be any of them. This first tier is one point. Second tier is two points. And if you want to really go big, the third tier is three points. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. And and by the way, Jeannie Bouchard has 1.5 points just because the um, ball got like halfway in. So we gave half, her 1.5. How she make half? <laughs> pretty, pretty good. Yeah, this is the first one. So so it's just I bragging go rights against far. the fellow I go teammates. Far. Ooh, that was pretty close. Good first attempt. I like your shoes, by the way. Those are super cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ooh. I appreciate that you're going, going, going for the threes, though. Two more. All right, let's go do an easy one. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> that was half or not? That is counting like half, you. no? It's teasing you. <laughs> <laughs> so far, everyone's gotten it on the last one. Yes! That, that is the formula. That is one or a Nice work, that counts. You got it. <laughs> Come on over. High five for that one. You know what I love, which is really funny, is that every, every single player has gotten the last one in for a point. Yeah. So I always say it's like the mental toughness you guys have. You're like, I'm getting this no, one I in. No, I started, no, but then now I'm this doing this. Exactly. Well, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Um, happy early birthday. Have thank a blast you. with that and good luck at the tournament. Thank and you very always. much. So thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right. So we will be back with more WTA Live after the break. Everything you need to know about the WTA is just a click and a click away. Click, 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 click. That's just how easy it is. It's that fast. Before you can watch us, you've got to know where to find us. Now we've made it easy and interactive. Just click and then click again. Go to WTAtennis.com and click the TV button. Once on the page, click the country you want to watch us from. And bam, bam, bam. It's all right there. Where to find us, when to find us. So remember, click, click right at your fingertips at WTAtennis.com. Welcome back to WTA Live. I'm your host, Kristen Aldrich, here with Sloan Stevens. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? So, I'm good. Now, you're here in Charleston. I know you've been a very busy lady. How are your travels getting here? <sighs> Not that easy. <laughs> it was actually very difficult getting oh, here. No. But um, we ended up driving here from Miami, so... Were you originally planning to fly? Yeah, we thought we were doing the great thing by getting a direct uh -oh. flight, Charleston, or Miami, Charleston, and unfortunately it got canceled and they couldn't rebook us for two days. So that would be a problem. Yeah, yeah, that would have been a problem. Yeah. So, um, so we ended up driving here, and it was like storming when we were going out of Florida. Mm -hmm. So we ended up stopping and eating dinner, and then that added like an hour onto our trip. So it took us like nine hours to get here, and Man. then we got here at like three thirty in the morning, and. Yeah, it was very eventful. And, and then we got you up nice and nice and uh, at a good hour to play some pier tennis yesterday with yeah, Madison Keys. Exactly. But you've been a, you've been a busy lady. How was how was that on the pier with Madison and the photo shoot and all that? Yeah, it was really fun. Um, we just, it was kind of difficult because, like, the ground was uneven because we were on a pier. But, right, um, and, and, and it was, like, 45-mile-an-hour winds yeah, yesterday. Yeah, it was actually really cold. So, yeah, <laughs> um, it was a bit difficult, but um, we had fun, and um, we took some pictures, and we made, like, some videos and stuff, so it was fun. Awesome, took it all in stride. So you had a 21st birthday recently in Miami. It's mm -hmm. kind of a birthday theme on today's show. There's a lot of birthdays. Yeah. 21, that's a big deal. Yeah, it was a big deal, but... Um, um, 
It was during a tournament, so we didn't do much. We just, my right. whole entire team and some family members, we went out um, and had a good dinner. And then it okay. was kind of just like a blur. Like, it was, <laughs> like, a, I don't even remember having a birthday. So what, what did, Where did you go for dinner? Um, we went to some more, uh, place in the Mandarin Oriental. I don't even remember oh, the name mm-hmm. of it. Yes, but it was really nice, and they had, like, a great view. And it was, like, we had some sushi, and it was fun. But, um, yeah, I was playing the next day, so it was kind of tough to keep it light. Know, yeah. Oh, what about birthday presents? Did you put anything birthday on the list presents? for anyone this year? Yeah, I got a lot of things. Um, I had my target list, so I got a lot of gifts off there and just um, some gifts from some random friends and some random people, but mm-hmm. um, um, just the normal. Cool. Well, uh, we have a little game, actually, and it's kind of called This or That, and mm-hmm. we're going to find out. Let's say you weren't on tour and you mm-hmm. had the time to plan a huge birthday party. Mm-hmm. We want to find out what the perfect birthday party would be for you. So, Well, I did have a birthday party before the tournament You did? Okay. Yeah. Well, so, perfect. So yeah. then maybe some of these questions, hopefully, okay. we'll find out if that really was, like, the most perfect ever. Okay. So <laughs> for this party, would you wear jeans or a dress? Uh, jeans. jeans. I wore jeans, yeah. Okay. And heels or flats? Flats. Oh, my what? God. <laughs> She's like, definitely <laughs> yeah, not heels. No. All I the did. dancing and karaoke we were doing, I definitely needed flats for that. Nice. Needed needed to, to be good for that. Okay, so five guests? Less than five or more than 30? Uh, there was like 60 people there. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more than 30. More than 30. Okay. And uh, if you could choose, what would the location be? Miami or Vegas? Or somewhere um, else? I'd say Miami. Miami? Yeah. Okay. And dinner or nightclub? Dinner. Dinner. Okay. Yeah. And on the birthday playlist, would it be pop music or rock music? Uh, pop music. Pop music? Yeah. Where are some of your favorites? Um, you got to go with like the classic stars, <laughs> like the Beyonce, Rihanna. I mm-hmm. love Beyonce. Like the little Jay-Z. Um, probably. You ever seen any of them in concert? Yeah, all of them. You have? Yeah. How- Who was your favorite? Uh, Rihanna was my favorite. I mean, I've always wanted to see a concert yeah, with her. Yeah, she was really she's good. So good. I, I wasn't expecting her to be, like, as, like, her show is very creative, mm-hmm. and it's very, um, she's very interactive, and it's really fun. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so birthday cake, chocolate or vanilla? Uh, vanilla. I don't, I hate chocolate. You I don't hate chocolate. chocolate. No, ew. Oh, wow, no. we're, we're total opposites because I love chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Nice. Okay, so gifts. Would you rather have diamonds or something a little bit more sentimental? Even though um, I say diamonds can be totally sentimental, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I already have a lot of diamonds, but I'd say probably sentimental because okay. I can, yeah, I, diamonds, you can do that whenever, but like mm-hmm. sentimental, it's something you can keep for a long time. And yeah. like, yeah, it's. What, can I ask, what's the most sentimental gift that you have that you really hold close to your heart? Um. Like, there's so many. Oh, there's so many. Um, okay, the most it's recent secret. one. Yeah. My boyfriend got a blanket and had all of our pictures on it. It's really cute. That is really yeah, sweet. That's Good like, boyfriend yes, award. Good boyfriend. That's very sweet because that took, like, a lot of thought. It took a it lot did. of time. Yes, it was really cute. It came out perfectly. Very sweet. And did you like all the pictures? I know that. Yes, they were, like, they were the best <laughs> pictures of us, so it was good. It was really very good. cute. Nice yeah. job, boyfriend. Okay, so now that you're 21, champagne or soda? I don't drink soda. I don't drink alcohol. So Good pineapple you. juice. Yeah. <laughs> Stay the healthy way. That's exactly. always the best option. Yes, definitely. Okay, perfect. So I have to ask you, you have a family dog, and I just saw the, the picture on Twitter. He's a cutie. Yeah. Teddy. Yeah. Teddy. So tell me about Teddy. Well, Teddy, we got him in December, like right before mm-hmm. I went to Australia, and he was like this small like oh, when we precious. first got him. Now he's like this big. Well, what kind but of dog is it? He's a cockapoo. A cockapoo. Okay. So, yeah, he's so sweet. And um, he's very wild. He has a lot of energy because he's still a puppy. And he started training. Yesterday was his first training day. So, um, so it's a process. Having a dog is like having a kid. So um, <laughs> It's good training. Yeah. And Absolutely. before we got the dog, I was like deathly afraid of dogs. And I still am. But I can really? like pick up our dog and like play with him and stuff. But I can't. Other people's dogs, like I'm just. Interesting. You know. my, my mom is actually very similar. She It doesn't matter what size. And, yeah. And what, was there an experience that made you? No. Oh, there's like nothing Something I can remember him. like nothing I don't know <laughs> nothing but like anyone else's dog I'm like no stay away uh, back off well hopefully Teddy will keep giving you lots of love on and yes. off tour so okay so we've got time for a little mini golf I hope okay yeah so basically it's just for bragging right the, okay. the score to beat is 1.5 um, <laughs> okay. so long what's story, this but this is one point Second tier is two points, and then if you want to go big, those are three points. Okay, I'm just going to go right here. You got it. Yeah. This is, like, the easiest thing. Okay, wait. How, how many times have you mini-golfed? 
That's Ooh, neat. no one's got oh. it on the first shot, but that was probably the closest. Man. Am I supposed to be, is the ball supposed to be on here? Near is fine. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. Yeah. Nice work. I say we can count that, right? <laughs> so she's Damn. got one. Okay, here we let's go. See, let's see how many we can get. Oh, Who knew? You are a great golfer. Two points on the board. You are in the lead. Okay, here we go. Do we make it three? Yes! <laughs> okay, good. Awesome great. job, girl. Okay. Good job. Come on over. No I, one's going to beat me. I know it. <laughs> I need a high five yeah. for that one. Nice job. So now you get major bragging rights if no one beats you. Yes, definitely. All through the tournament, three points in golf. So thank you. Thank good, you. Good luck and happy birthday. Thank and you. And so good to see you always. Yeah, thanks for having me. Of course. So we'll be back with more fun on WTA Live right after the break. Stay with us. When I was a child in Copenhagen, in Moscow, Belgrade, Wuhan, in Belgium, Milan, Berlin, Czech Republic, Israel, Saint Etienne, Guernsey, South Africa, in Romania, in Germany. All I wanted to be was the best in the world. Welcome back to WTA Live. I am here with Sarana Kirstea, and this is your first WTA Live. Very exciting, right? Definitely. This is my first <laughs> one, so I'm not exactly sure what's going I know, on. I you, you see mini golf happening. We, we promise we'll go easy on you, but we like to have Perfect. a little bit of fun. <laughs> okay, wonderful. So you played Charleston last year. What would you say your favorite thing is about this tournament, and what kind of sets it apart from the other ones you've played? Um, I think my favorite, um, I would say, how nice everyone is here. Mm -hmm. um, I think Southern hospitality. Definitely. I was actually shocked because I, I grew up in, in my family. It's also everyone's so nice. And mm -hmm. I grew up with this kind of education. So straight away when I came here, I was like, oh, I feel like home. Oh, that's so, very nice. And uh, they treat us so nice. And uh, they uh, they try to make us feel comfortable. And uh, it's, uh, it's great coming back. I always say this is one of my favorite tournaments. And Played back so relaxed comparing to to Miami, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm uh, I, pref I uh, to be honest I prefer a little bit of peace of mind and and quiet. Sure, it meant, I've actually never been to Charleston. This is my first time, <laughs> and that's the first thing that you really feel the minute you get here is everything's so beautiful and it's so historical and there's just a very like charming environment, very different from Miami because it's kind of hustle and bustle and and it all has a little bit of European feeling. Like if you mm -hmm. go in the center with the small streets, the uh, those. Very Small quiet. restaurants, and uh, it it makes me feel like a very, a very homey. I would say so. It's a, it's an event I I love. So hopefully I can stay here as long as possible. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and you'll be very busy playing tennis. Yeah. Hopefully. So uh, you recently helped launch the Oriflame WTA uh, Strong is Beautiful product line, and I love the campaign because it's so empowering to women. What was it like being a part of that? Tell us about it. Uh, first of all, I'm really uh, honored to be to be part of that campaign. I think. It's uh, it's great, and I think it sends a, um, a very strong message, and uh, it's um, um, also for the young girls and for everyone. Uh, it's it's nice to see athletes, you know, and uh, uh, we are I think good ambassadors because we travel so much, so we are always in these tough conditions, and we always have to take care of our skin. And uh, Oriflame has been doing such an amazing job, and I grew up with Oriflame products because in my country in Romania it's very popular. Oh, nice! So it uh, it was uh, very easy to associate my, my name with them and everyone's it's been amazing so it's uh, as I said no it's it's an honor to be part of that campaign oh and do you have a favorite product since since you've been growing up with so many of them anything that you just have to have in your in your bag um a lot I actually love their foundation I know I, I'm not wearing it much but for the off court and naturally beautiful yeah, yeah. Me too. <laughs> And uh, for the encore, it's always the sunscreen that uh, mm. that's the the main key right now. But uh, all their products are, are amazing, and uh, uh, as I said, you know, it's uh, it's it's a great campaign, and it sends a very very positive message. And we need 
these days. Absolutely. And that's one thing that I love about the WTA and, and everything that they're involved with. Everything is so positive. And, and for how, how is it like for you to have someone tell you, like, I wanted to play tennis because of you and you're such a role model? Is that, is that pretty cool to hear? I think that's amazing. And I always said if one person started tennis because of me, my, uh, my dream came true because uh, I started tennis because of Steffi Graf. I was four years old. I saw a match on TV between her and Monica Seles and I told my parents I want to be like her one day. Wow. So I started tennis like that, and uh, I think it's uh, it's nice to have uh, good examples in life and positive. And for me, Steffi, she's a champion on and off the court, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it gives you a nice uh, nice way to start everything. In and it's it's good to have uh, positive examples, and hopefully through uh, at the end of the day, you know, tennis it's it's a sport, and we are here because uh, uh, people come and watch and everything. But I think it's uh, it's nice that we can set up some. Some, some examples and be role model for, for the younger girls. Mm -hmm. Do you think your four-year-old self would be in <laughs> awe of where you are now in your career? Uh, I'm that kind of person that I'm never ra really happy with myself. I always want more. <laughs> I, hear you. I'm the I, same way. <laughs> I always see the empty, empty side of the the glass, which in a way it's good because it always wants you, keeps you motivated, keeps you motivated mm -hmm. and makes you want one more to achieve. But in a way, you know, you have to to enjoy a little bit because uh, it's uh, uh, life is not easy. And it's, a, it's a very tough road, and you no, know, you need to to enjoy everything you uh, you achieve. Very good advice. Enjoy every single moment. Soak it all in. It's, it's easier to say than to, to, I know. to do it, but uh, I I'm, I'm getting there. Okay, so we have a little fun game that we're going to play. It's called Would You Rather? So I'm just going to ask you a series of questions and you can tell me what you would rather do. And they're, and they're really easy. So, girls night out or girls night in? Uh, girls night in. Girls night in? <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big party girl. I love it. Uh, I'm the same way. I'm a total homebody. I like my movies and my popcorn. Exactly, and definitely. So for me, the best would be having my girls in my apartment or uh, putting a good movie, maybe having a glass of wine. So I'm more of that low-key type of girl. Perfect. What What would be the ideal movie? Any specific genre, like a romantic uh, comedy? Or I don't like romantic no? comedies. I don't like comedies. I don't like anything cheesy. Like action? Like, are you more of um, a... Suspense? Uh, yeah, I like those, and I'm more like a drama type of person. Mm -hmm. So also I enjoy those and thrillers for me. That uh, that's always a go-to uh, to movie. So I'm uh, uh, I'm quite. Uh, let's say weird in movies <laughs> I, I love a good thriller there, there's nothing better any favorites um, not, I mean I, of course I, I have a few uh, movie that I always enjoyed was uh, Crash that was Ooh, great movie I think mm -hmm. it, uh, it's a very nice and that's exactly how life is mm -hmm. and uh, uh, there are a lot of them but not they don't come now in uh, they don't come close. yes exactly <laughs> but uh, this year with the Oscars going on and everything I was uh, had a little bit of time to see all those and mm -hmm. Uh, there are, were some amazing ones out. Okay, so heels or flats? Um, heels. Really? Yeah, definitely. Like if I'm, um, I mean, I'm always in my sport clothes and stuff. And if I have a chance, I'll, uh, I'll try to dress up. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's also, I cannot wear flats because I have some heels problems. <laughs> so that's uh, also a good thing in a way. And uh, I, uh, I like high heels definitely. Yeah, I was gonna say, how high are you? Are you like sporting the five inches with the uh, platforms? I, when I was younger, I used to be a little bit all or nothing to go really, really high. But uh, I all think or the, nothing. Yeah. I like the way you talk. <laughs> but I think the older you get, the um, the more balanced you become a little bit. So now I've I've brought them a little bit to a, a decent size. Okay, good mix. Very smart. So a day shopping or a day at the pool? Um, a day shopping. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm quite active and I always like to do something. And uh, um, Shopping's a sport, if you ask me. <laughs> it's, it's strenuous. <laughs> it's, uh, but I have to say, it takes all your energy it out. Does. Definitely. Carrying after. all those shopping bags, walking around. Absolutely. And uh, I actually, I people look at me and everyone has the impression that I shop a lot. I don't shop as mm -hmm. much as people imagine. I do a lot of online shopping. Um, and this year, I don't think I have actually haven't been on a proper shopping spree. But I, I do enjoy online shop. shop. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite online site to check out uh, for net, fans? Netaporter.com. Netaporter. That's a good one. That's my. It's, that's my daily. <laughs> when I'm daily having my dose. coffee in the morning, that's my daily oh, dose. <laughs> so now we know what she's doing. Perfect. So we have some fan questions for you. Lots of fans have been submitting uh, via social media. Perfect. So we have time for two of them. Yeah. 
Um, from Danny on Twitter, do you have any superstitions? If yes, can you tell us a few, please? Um, I used to have quite a few, um, but uh, then the older I got, I realized it's, I'm just wasting my time. <laughs> and uh, when you have superstition, I think you put a lot of energy into those things. Mm. And I realized it's better to use my energy in, in, like, in the proper things and the mm -hmm. things that will help me get better. So not anymore. Maybe a little bit uh, things that I don't realize anymore. They have became habits. Maybe when I'm, sure. I'm on the court, a little bit put the bottles on the same line or maybe... Mm -hmm. Um, my coach always makes fun that I always like need to have my uh, towel very nicely done and everything. <laughs> so, but they are not superstition; just I think habits Rituals. now. Sure, sure. Okay, great. That makes sense, though. Just focus on the game, not the <laughs> definitely, not the definitely. You are you are the one in charge, and uh, you are the the one that uh, have uh, have the control over everything. Mm -hmm. So, in in time, I realize those are not really working. <laughs> You're very wise. I love her. You've been very very wise for such a young girl. Um, from Juana Petre. This sounds a Romanian name. <laughs> on Twitter, I know you and Anna Ivanovic are close friends. Do you have any funny stories from this year or last season? Yes, your your bestie. Uh, yeah, she's you guys my, are so cute. she's my best friend, and we've been already for three four years. And uh, she's like my sister, mm -hmm. and we share everything. And uh, um, I mean, we we spend a lot of time together. Um, even like, for example, now when we're in Miami, uh, I go to her place. We have, sometimes we even have just room service together. She comes Fun. to my place. Last um, night in, of course. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and uh, when I lost straight away, she called me and she said, you want me to come over? I'm there for you. So it's, uh, we, we help each other um, and uh, um, nothing funny comes up at the moment. But uh, after so many years, we know each other so well. And uh, it's nice to have someone so similar that understands you. Sometimes you don't even have to talk. I and was just going to say that. Yes. It's so it, nice. It's so nice. You know, and with us, it's just so, so comfortable. And uh, it's, it's nice to have someone at, uh, at this level of trust in, in mm -hmm. tennis. It's nice to just like hang out and just know you're on the same page and enjoy each other without always having to talk. Exactly. Sometimes it's nice just being together. For me this is the moment as soon as I feel comfortable around someone that I don't have to talk, I don't feel bad not talking, that's right. the moment yes, when I'm yes. like, we are good from here on. Totally. So it's like right. moments of awkward silence. Exactly. Yes. Okay, perfect. So pop that back perfect. in there. So I'm sure you've seen this kind of mini golf action that we have. I actually here. just saw Sloan and she raised the bar so she high, did. so it's going to be very yes. tough. Yes, Sloan got two, I believe. Yes, I've um, only yeah, so done this twice in my life, so I'm <laughs> probably going to be horrendous. I don't even know how to hold this, but unfortunately, I have no recommendations because I am terrible at it. So that was a good practice. <laughs> Still have a shot here for some some good bragging rights. Mm. All right, two left. Okay, uh, it's quite windy also if people... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not me, the wind. I see how you work. Blame it on the elements. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you knock this ball in and get the other one in, we can definitely count for two for a tie. Oh! <laughs> I'll stick to tennis. <laughs> stick to tennis, exactly. Good, good idea. Thank you Perfect. so much. Thank you so much. No, it was a pleasure. Heart. Thank you so, so much. It was so wonderful to see you. And Thank you. good luck with the tournament and, and beyond. Thank you. Hopefully it will go well. Absolutely. Definitely. Okay, guys. So we'll be back with more WTA Live right after the break. Congratulations Singapore. Congratulations Singapore on becoming the new host for the WTA Championships in 2014. Congratulations Singapore on being the next host of the WTA Championships. Congratulations Singapore on becoming the next host of the WTA Championships starting in 2014. I can't wait to play in front of the great fans and I know that Singapore will take it to the next level of success. I'm so excited. I'll see you in 2014. 
So I'm laughing right now. Come on, uh, Yelena Yankovic is here joining me, and she was just practicing. She was cheating a little no, bit. No, I with wasn't. The mini golf. I did totally not. Totally were on the commercial break. No, <laughs> it's not kidding. true. Just preparing the balls. I know. Well, it's funny because a lot of tennis players are actually saying they've never really played golf before. Is what, what's the case with you? Yeah, I actually played uh, twice. Twice in, my, in, in my, your entire life. In my entire life, and that was like two years ago okay. or three, maybe in Mexico. Well, that's a good place to play. And some golf. Um, I was not good. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, I got quite frustrated. <laughs> quite frustrated. I'm the same way. If I'm not good at something, I get really mad at myself because I'm really competitive and I'm mad and it's the same for you. Yeah, but I think I should uh, receive some instructions before uh, <laughs> you know, I try to kind of do it. You need your coaching team. Uh, because I don't exactly. think I have a good technique. So I think I need uh, you know, some tips in order to just be a little better. All right, well, we'll find out soon. We'll put you to the test. So, great to see you. So, you made the finals last year. So, how does it feel to be back? It feels um, awesome to mm-hmm. be back here in, uh, in Charleston. And I have uh, great memories of playing here, you know, in the past. Um, this town is so beautiful. So, it's, it's, it's so charming. It's so charming. It has this special, you know, kind of um, vibe to it. And uh, people are so kind, mm-hmm. even too kind. <laughs> <laughs> the best southern hospitality yes, I love. Um, they spoil us so much here. I just Aww. love it. What, what's the biggest uh, spoil that you've received? Well, I mean, Are you get, talking massages and like VIP? Uh, massages, nails, you know, I think mm-hmm. as well we get gifts every day here. Um, they just treat us so nicely. Nice. Uh, we, we really appreciate it. Something that I think is really fun is you uh, like to hit up the player parties and you posted a really cute photo from the Miami player party. And I think I <laughs> I saw one on Twitter from Charleston. Am I right? From this one last sure. night? Maybe. But you were there. I, know, I, I actually have to show you a tattoo, Ooh. a fake one. That's really <laughs> that, cute. Here, show, the, show the camera so the fans can see it's it. It's actually real. No, it's, it's a star <laughs> with JJ initials. <laughs> and you got that at the player party. Yeah, and That's I, cool. I, I, I called my mom and I said, Mom, look, I just, just I just don't want you to be in shock. I got to do <laughs> check the pictures know. online. <laughs> um, no, funny. it was funny. I think it's going to wear out in two days. Would you ever get a real tattoo? If your mom wasn't my, my watching. My mom would kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, maybe I would get a tattoo that you can kind of, not permanent. I don't think I could put something that will stay for the rest of my life. Right. It's, it's a big decision, for sure. Uh, you know, because I'm a person that kind of gets bored of, um, you know, of things. And um, I think after, you know, a while, I'll be like, I don't want this. Why did I get this? Why did I get this? And mm-hmm. um, you then... You change it up a little bit. Yeah, so temporary tattoos are fine for me. Okay, me, me as well. And that one's, that one's very cute. So, so I feel like since you've been to a couple of these player parties, I feel like you'd be a really good party planner. So I'm going to ask you a couple of oh, questions. I, you're wrong about that. No, I, I feel I'm like not a party person. You're so fashionable. You're so fun. I think you know how to have a good time. So we're going to find out what makes a good party according to JJ. So first off, tell us about the food that you would have. If you could create your own player's party. You know, believe it or not, I'm not a really a party person. <laughs> Even though I look like one, I'm not. I just have this, um, you know, energy and maybe the outgoing personality. Well, you're so fun. You're um, so fun to be I just around like to, people love being with you. I just like to have a good time. And yeah. I think for me, the most important, uh, you know, when it comes to parties, is um, who you are with. Mm. You know, you can be great, thrown, great point. thrown anywhere. And, you know, if you have good people around, you're just going to have so much fun. Mm-hmm. You know, of course, good music, food, the food I'll have. I don't know what I'll have. <laughs> Yeah, what, what are you a fan of? Because Charleston, people love it coming oh, here because the food is so good. Food the is restaurants delicious, are so good. Yes. I don't know what I would have. If it's... Like, are you a sushi fan? or a Yeah, fan? actually, I love sushi. Okay. I, I eat, you know, even maybe I don't look like I eat a lot. I, <laughs> I eat you quite like a food. lot. I love food. Mm-hmm. I, I just um, indulge. You know? <laughs> I just... I, I just enjoy, you know, good food and that's something that, you know, makes me, mm-hmm. you know, very happy. But I do not know, um, you know, what I would, you know, if I made my own party, what kind of food I would, you know, put in there. I would, I would just call some catering or ask my mom to, you know, ask prepare mom. some, that's a good one. Why some good ask mom? home-cooked meals, yes. you know, because I'm not a good cook. 
I we talked about that. I on love another eating, w- but I live. do not know how to prepare myself. <laughs> but you, but you said it right. It's the people there that really yes. make it a fun party. Yes. So we'll just make sure to have lots of great people there. Yes. So okay, so I'm dying to have you play some golf since you were practicing. Over I the wasn't break. practicing <laughs> one one shot. That was all right. So, that so was walk on over. It. So you're gonna see pure embarrassment right now. So right now, uh, the the person to beat is actually Sloane Stevens. Uh. I believe got in two. Where do I put it? You can actually go for any of them the the easy one the first one is one point the middle tier is two points and the third is is how do you hold this thing i have no idea (laughs) (laughs) you look good though that that counts no let's see and you know how they do like they check the wing yes then you've got to get level with the ball and and make sure you're on the right track oh my god oh it came out (laughs) It didn't want to go I in. I know, I could cap you, Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great movie, by the way. I wish I remembered some of the lines from that. I do one more. I'll do the same. Huh? <laughs> yes, go to your happy place. Get in the zone. Wait, if this thing is up. <laughs> okay. You are actually, I think she's by, probably the most impressive so far. I don't need to bang this one. <laughs> maybe, maybe I play better. <laughs> Whatever you're doing is working for you. So you've got one on the leaderboard. Where do I go? Should I go next? In, yeah, but I cannot make that rights. one. That's so far. Give me the middle one. Never say never. Oh, I mean, I'm not Tiger Woods. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I mean, uh, how the heck do I go? Let's check. Whoa. <laughs> Pressure. Oh my gosh. Oh, if but it, it wasn't cur- for the wind, it that curved. was going it in. It curves and then it went. <laughs> You've got one more. You've got to, get to the right. One more. And Where should I go? The far one or the close yeah, one? Yeah, I, I say because if you get in the first one, you're just going to do a tie. So I say go for it. The, the far one. Holy smokes. <laughs> a lot of concentration. It's gonna curve. Oh, come on, come on, come He's on. Cur- oh! <laughs> that was going good. So close. So close. Come on over. <laughs> you you made a pretty good dent in that in that grass, by the way. I, I love kind it. of curved it. I saw the curve the first time and then I kind of Second realized I have to in. go, yeah, a little yeah, more. The, the wind I was is almost it there, yeah. I kind of Face learned down. that on the, on the go. <laughs> <laughs> you learn as you go. Thank you. Good luck at this tournament and beyond. It's always so awesome having you on the show. You're a blast. So thank thank you you so much. Okay, so more fun coming up on W Live. So stay with us. Everything you need to know about the WTA is just a click and a click away. Click, 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 click. That's just how easy it is. It's that fast. Before you can watch us, you've got to know where to find us. Now we've made it easy and interactive. Just click and then click again. Go to WTAtennis.com and click the TV button. Once on the page, click the country you want to watch us from. And bam, bam, bam. It's all right there. Where to find us, when to find us. So remember, click, click, right at your fingertips at WTAtennis.com. It's definitely a tough season. You have to play well. You have to win some tough matches that maybe you would normally not win, but it's all worth it in the end to be at the year in championships. Ever since I grew up, I dreamt of holding the Billie Jean King trophy, and eventually my dream came true. guys, welcome back to WTA Live All Access Hour presented by Xerox. I'm your host, Kristen Aldridge, and of course, I am here with tennis superstar Serena Williams. Congratulations. Thank Just you. took home another win in Miami, your seventh title. How's it feel? It feels good. I was really excited to, to win the seventh one because I don't think anyone had won seven. No. Yet. So I was it's like, amazing. Yeah, yeah. I was tied with Andre at six, and I was like, hopefully, I can pass him. Incredible. What was going through your mind um, with that final point? I was thinking ace, ace, ace. <laughs> and I didn't hit an ace, but I was thinking ace. I was like, I don't want to hit any shots, just want to hit an ace. Right. <laughs> how, how much pressure do you feel um, in scenarios like that? Is it a lot of pressure, and how um, do you handle I don't that? Because really you're so great with the mental yeah, toughness. No, you're I in the zone. I, yeah, I just get in the zone. I try not to put too much pressure on myself. I definitely don't feel a lot of pressure. And yeah. um, when I relax is when I play the best. 
Very true. That, that's how yeah. I feel even about myself. Like yeah. the least you stress and you it's just trust just, that you're going to be exactly. amazing. Yeah. Very cool. Well, something that I think was really cool is we actually managed to catch you giving a shoe to a fan <laughs> after your win. Yeah. Amazing moment. That was what prompted fun. you to do that? Well, he asked for my shoe. This little kid was like, can I have your shoe? And I said, what? <laughs> I was like, can I have your shoe? I said, my shoe? And he's like, yeah, your shoe. Your shoes are pretty cool. I was like, okay, so. sure, why not? I don't need them anymore. Him. So I gave it to him, and then someone asked for the other one. So it was fun. I was shoeless after that. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was their reaction? Were they pretty surprised? They were pretty surprised, but he was such a bold kid. I liked his boldness. I was like, ah. who asked for a shoe? I was like, okay, why not? So I was, was actually going to ask you. So no other fans have ever asked you for a shoe? And I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe, but I don't think so. So I was like, okay, cool. Why you know not? what's going to happen now is every Everyone's match, gonna they're going to be shoes, asking for crazy right? things. Give me your after hat. After finals, <laughs> after finals. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So now in Charleston, you're the reigning champ from last year. You won in 2012. What are you looking forward to and what sets this one apart from all the rest? Well, I just want to look forward to getting a lot of clay court practice here okay. because this is the first clay court season match of the season and uh, I look forward to it because I mm -hmm. love the clay. You I do. love playing on the clay. Yeah. What What do you, uh, I was going to say, what, what do you love about playing on this surface? Because it's such a different game than playing is. on a hard it court. It just slows down. You can kind of take your time more. Mm -hmm. I've always loved about the clay how um, if I want to, I don't have to run up as fast. I can just relax a little more and so I like that. <laughs> I love how she's like, oh, I just relax because uh, it yeah. doesn't look that way to us. You're still. No, you definitely have to work <laughs> harder, but you don't have to be so like, I gotta I get, get it. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you have more Slow time to get to the ball. So mm -hmm. it, it slows everything down a little bit. Awesome. Um, so everyone has been talking about the amazing restaurants here because mm -hmm. Charleston is just such great food. Do you have any favorite stops along the way when you do get here that any kind of rituals? I of food? do, but I can never remember the names of them, but I love the food here. It's one uh. of the real reasons I keep coming back because <laughs> the food's so good. I love Southern Not food. So oh, yeah. good. So I'm good. A, I'm a girl that loves southern food. Nice. Uh, and we also have had a very interesting kind of birthday theme show because a lot of players had birthdays recently or birthdays oh, okay. coming up. What makes a good birthday party to you? Like, in well, all I don't celebrate years? birthdays. No? No. I'm trying to be Joe's witness, so we don't do yeah. birthdays. Got so, it. Got it. Uh, I don't know. Good, good point. <laughs> I do throw a good event, but I know the birthday. You you do. I was gonna yeah. say you throw good parties in yes. general. Yeah. So, so how about just like a good gathering with friends? Like what are yeah, some must haves? I, for me, a must have in every event is obviously a karaoke station. <laughs> you know, so it's Love fun. It. You know, you get a lot of people together. They never sing, and right. no one's like, I never do it. Then all of a sudden, everyone sings because you know everyone wants to be a singer at some point. They want they know songs. Like the everyone knows dream. music. How cool would it be to be you a know? Rock star, Exactly. So what are, what are your, some, does it. some karaoke go-to songs for you? Do you have it any depends. that you like to bust out? It depends. I, I do anything. I actually was doing like a lot of air supply, which is really random. <laughs> Super random. I actually would love to sing Millie Vanilli. I used to love Millie Vanilli. Right? Yeah, Girl, I was. You know I was exact, Yeah, I was listening ooh, to the ooh, '80s ooh. channel, and that came on. And I was like, "Oh my god!" I used to love Millie Vanilli. Except they weren't actually singing. Exactly. So, so it's impossible <laughs> to find their music. So very true. Yeah. Okay, so we have another Vine question okay. from a fan for All Access Hour fan cast, and this one is from Gerard Zero Garcia, and uh, we're gonna play it for you right now. So check us out. Okay, so Gerard wants to know, what are your three most memorable matches in your lifetime? That's a very difficult question. I'm definitely going to say Australian Open 2003, I think. Okay. When I played Venus in the final. Uh-huh. What was that like? It was awesome. It was a very tough match. It was like either 6-4 in the third set or 7-5, one and two. But it was to win my fourth Grand Slam in a row, so I, had, wow. I held all four. So definitely Amazing. that one. Definitely. What was it like knowing that it was your sister that you beat? I just blanked that out because <laughs> it's tough. We grew up together. Sure. We're best friends. So mm -hmm. I don't think about it. But I was. it was more about that moment, the match, and winning four Grand Slams in a row, which okay. haven't, I hadn't been able to do that before. Um, I would have to say for sure um, the Olympics in London. Wow. Doubles. Okay. Yeah, because I just had so much fun winning doubles with Venus, and mm -hmm. um, and I don't know what the other one to be. I don't know. 
So, there's been so many. There's been so many. But the, those two stand out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, nice. So we have some more fan questions for you. And, uh, of course, everyone's been submitting via social media and all that good stuff. So go ahead. You always have the best nails. Can we just show that on camera? It matches your outfit. That's so cute. I love it. From Mel Lashika. Mel Lashika, yeah. Lashika on Facebook. What's your favorite? I don't watch scary movies. What's your favorite scary movies? I don't watch scary movies. I am movies. right there with you. Horror I don't films watch are... them. I don't think about them. And I don't even mention them. So Perfect. <laughs> So you've never seen, uh, what's the one? Probably where... not. <laughs> <laughs> Corrado no. Martinez on Facebook. Throughout your entire career, who has been the three toughest opponent you had to play? Um, definitely Venus. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of tough matches against Jennifer Capriati. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, I think uh, Hinnon was a great opponent for me mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Nice. Let's do another one. Okay. Let's see. From at Advice Giver 18 on Twitter, who was your tennis idol growing up? Monica Salas. Monica Salas. And Monica why Monica Salas? Because I loved her grunt. She was so cool mm -hmm. and I just thought she was awesome. What was it like first time meeting her? It was really, really cool. And then I got to play her and it was. It's surreal, it's just, I can yeah, imagine. it was just something you wouldn't expect. And I was mm -hmm. growing up, seeing someone so amazing, and then actually being on the same court as someone that's just a champion that. You know, it's just super cool. Yeah, I can't, yeah. I can't imagine. Yeah. Very cool. All right, so time for a little mini golf. <laughs> yeah, here we go again. How are your golfing skills? Other I told you last skills. week <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at one sport. Which is tennis. That's it. Okay. Well, so let's, I'm terrible let's, at golf. I'm going for last out. place again? <laughs> <laughs> no. We actually, surprisingly, there haven't been too many high scores. Yeah. So. I suck at golf. And we've had a few that have had, that have had zero, so. Yeah. Oh, and here comes another one. So. All right, and just so you know, Serena, this first one is one point, the middle tier is two, and the third tier is three points. <sighs> okay. And all you get is bragging rights, so no pressure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not very competitive outside of tennis. Oh. Uh, all right. I'm good at hitting hard. I'm not good at putting. Well, you can always go for the last one and whale it to the end. yeah, totally. Oh, I can whale go it. to the end. Yeah, just do it. See how far you can get. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Uh, I don't even think that was the right direction. <laughs> You're actually one of the first that have attempted that, though, so I like it. I was actually going for that one. I, it went the wrong way. We can blame it on the wind. Ooh! Oh, I, I hit so it too close. hard. All right, one more shot. We should have a we should have had a driving contest instead. Yeah. <laughs> that actually that would be really fun. See how hard you can aw. Once again, another week, another zero. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all, thank you. Would you mind auto autographing this ball for the uh, Vine video? Okay. This is for Gerard Zero Garcia. And thanks to all you guys for sending in your Vine videos. We've had so much fun. Keep sending them in. Use the hashtag AAH Fancast. And this is going out to you right now. So thank you again oh, thank you. for everything. Good luck. I'm sneaking away. <laughs> She's this like, is my Wait. exit. <laughs> Definitely don't want to ask you to play mini golf again, right? No. Thank you, Serena. Take care. Uh, we'll be back with more WTA Live after the break. guys well that wraps up another edition of wta live all access hour presented by xerox these hours always go by way too fast but i had a blast and i hope all of you guys at home did too remember that our next show is coming up april 21st in stuttgart germany i'm really really pumped for that one uh, and remember that you guys can actually be a part of it too all you have to do is tweet us a question for your favorite players using vine videos and the hashtag aah fancast and the submission process this is actually beginning Friday, April 11th. So get those videos in. I can't wait to see them. Thank you so much to all the tennis fans out there for joining us. And we will see you in Germany. I'm your host, Kristen Aldridge. Bye, guys.